Look at all these carbs, definitely making my legs fat. Just can't look at all that fat and that I've covering those veins. <laughs> definitely making me fat, all those carbohydrates. The taxi is when you need them. Taxi! Oh fuck, I'll just have my bike. Easy done. Easy done. I just hate waiting. That's one thing in life I'm not a fan of. Just waiting around. I just want to feel the air. Air in my, in my hair. In my hands. Up the shirt. Air off. You know? It can get hot and humid and tiring. If you've got a bike, you're good to go. You're good to go. Or if you're in your wheelchair or whatever. But man, the bicycle oh, makes me sane. No bike. Oh, that's not a holiday. That's like... Fuck, man, that's stress. That's, I don't know. I, I've got to relax, but I, I'm like fanatical about I have to have my bicycle with me just to get around, you know? Just to roll and just explore and feel and zoom along. It's fantastic. Thai people are so friendly towards cyclists. Very respectful. It's just a way to get around, you know? Cover so much ground, so much faster. And I've got actually got, an, I've got a knee injury from a running race, so if I didn't have my bike, man, I'd be fucked, man. I'd be injured and I'd be fucking losing fitness and you know my tablets wouldn't be would be happy about that so bike's where it's at bike is definitely where it's at there's taxis in my way cars hold up traffic so i'm going to find some pineapple juice get a get a uh that during ride as fast in the taxi get some pineapple juice get a haircut i get a thai massage or something for dinner and uh spice is a good way to get around man it's so hot here I can't believe people go on holiday for three months and do no training. It's like, you can train like a professional athlete for three months. But people don't take the opportunity. It's crazy. Crazy. Well, the big city, I buy them in the big bottles. And I just leave these bottles in the hotel room and they get recycled. It saves buying the smaller ones. In Thailand, it's not open hours yet. But that's all they do here, security. Security is paper clips. Look at that. Crazy. That's how trusting they are in Thailand. Fruit in love. Isn't that sweet? You know, you got all the veggies here, the restaurants and that. There's no one around, you know? It's all closed. A couple of shops are open, but you know what I mean? As if you could have this in Australia, mate. People be racking it hard. Market now. I'm gonna get a little bottle here. I forgot mine. Uh, I forgot my little fruit canister. This is a good one because you can tighten the outside of your bag because I'm sure I'm so light. I don't have any room in my bag. This can go on the outside when it's empty. It only weighs maybe 100, 120, maybe 110 grams. I'll fill that full of fruit and pineapple, save plastic bags. Street in Bangkok, out in front of Maccas. And uh, got some water here, fill it up. Boom, save your little plastic bottles, chuck it in your thing, got your lock for Bangkok, no worries. Just a basic bite, get around the city, easy done. Fill us full of pineapple, just over here. Let's do it. Now the bicycle, you just ride around until you find good stuff. Power of having wheels. Your bicycle or your wheelchair, it's your best friend to find your good carbohydrate sources. You need some wheels to get around, otherwise you're gonna miss out. You're gonna be stuck in traffic. Burn fat, not oil. I have my one and a half litres of water. Charging the, the Garmin up. Doing some video editing. This is how I start my day. I've had my water now. I've got the liquid gold. This is the Duran Rider Alex. I don't drink coffee, mate. I drink this stuff. This is, oh my God. This is liquid gold. Mm. That is like the best pineapple juice in the world. Freshly squeezed just before your eyes there. It's fantastic. This is this doesn't need to be past this is pasteurized. Past your eyes. Past your eyes. I'll drink pasteurized juice, but this is my preference. Yeah, this is what we should be having in school, but we're not ever gonna have it. Even in Thailand, the Thais couldn't even afford this because it's too expensive to drink this in this amount, unfortunately. So that's why we've got the backup plan. But this is the number one plan if you can afford it. If you can't, we got you we got your back. We got your backup plans, no raw food elitism here. We have your back. Some mangoes up the back as well. That's how I start my day. People say, that's pure sugar. That's fucking right, man. That's what the brain runs on. The brain doesn't fucking run on caffeine. The brain runs on sugar. Read some human physiology textbooks, you sugar phobes. Sugar up, read up, carb the fuck up. Let's get to work. Look on the computer. Nice little backdrop here. The Atlanta Hotel. 
got me some fruit. I said, I only need one fork, but they didn't understand. They didn't believe that one person could eat three plates. I'm gonna see how many plates I can eat. But how many plates can I eat? Keep it carved, baby, keep it carved. Area here, little leaves, and then the garden, beautiful garden area. I'm in the middle of Bangkok, you know? Can't really tell, got a coconut tree over there. Fastest internet uploading YouTube videos to my channel, man. So fast, fastest internet I've experienced probably in the world. Maybe New York City's close, but uh, well, USA is always good, but Australian internet, very slow. Bangkok internet, at the Atlanta, super fast, way faster than Australia. Like, mind-blowingly fast. Like it's on EPO or something. Well, Fructose drink at 7-Eleven. And um, a little back straight here in Bangkok. Just spent an hour talking with a girl about David Wolf and drugs and durians. And I've just missed my pineapple juice guy. He's closed today, so I've got the backup plan. A bit of fructose and sugar. Works great still. And I can recycle these bottles. Yes. Okay. Yeah, smash these bad boys down. They've got a little sticker on there to show you what's ripe. That's ripe when it's like that colour, and that's sour. So when you eat unripe fruit, it can be bad for your teeth enamel. So that's why a lot of fruitarians get, can get teeth issues is eating unripe fruit. <laughs> but you've got to have this sh your fruit should be sugar sweet. If it's not sugary, don't eat it. Don't eat it because it'll be acidic on your enamel. So be careful with that. Ripe fruit all the time, please. Uh, so I found three torque bars out of my bag. These are the organic mango one. It's a vegan bar. About 144 calories each, so it's about 450 calories there. Boom, grab them down, snarf them down. Easy, quick snack. And the uh, the salads, the fruit salad. A bit of reverse osmosis water ice. Very nice, very tasty. <laughs> oh, well, I'll, I'll do a voiceover. Got <laughs> a rice dish here. Got a rice, got a rice dish here. A nice little, little tofu dish, looks like. <laughs> 